Okay, in this video I'm going to try to explain what the SATA Edge computing is all about. Okay, back in the early days of NASA when they were trying to calculate the trajectories and so forth to get us to the moon, they used computers. No, not this kind. This kind. That's right people. They had pools of people, mostly women, that were exceedingly good at math and performing calculations, and they used them to figure things out relative to the trajectories that would be needed to escape Earth's orbit and get us to the moon and get us back. So they called these people computers. Fast forward to today, we now have the uh, first kind of computer, and they typically have what are called cores inside of the CPU, two cores, four cores, eight cores, they, they vary, but the more cores that exist in a computer, the faster it is at doing calculations because they can send one calculation to one of the cores and then send a different calculation to one of the other cores. So you've got literally many computers uh, working in parallel with each other to figure things out. So the more cores that you have in the computer, the faster you can figure things out. So how does the edge compute function relate to or correlate with what I've just described, which is multiple cores within a uh, CPU? Well, basically every edge node that is installed is like adding a core to a huge virtual CPU. The more cores you have, or the more edge nodes you have, the faster that calculations are going to be completed. So the theta edge node is creating a huge virtual CPU with thousands of cores. Uh, as of this publication, I think it's 9,000 edge nodes that are online and running. So that's like having a computer that has 9,000 cores, or back to the NASA illustration, 9,000 mathematicians sitting in a room that can all be working on different aspects of the project that needs to be calculated or figured out. If you only had one one person be very slow but if you had 10 or 20 or 100 people then each one of them is like a core in the modern computer and so the edge node is a huge 9,000 core computer that can be tapped into by people like the folding at home project to do those calculation intense research that the protein folding project is doing and now they're adding jobs for video encoding on on top of that and the number of other jobs that could potentially be done is huge so the edge node is a huge supercomputer if you will with 9,000 cores and growing so there's a management aspect within the edge node system that manages the edge nodes or the edge computing to assign different jobs to different edge nodes to spread the work out and make sure it runs efficiently and things get done in an efficient manner. Well, that's my explanation of the edge compute. I hope you understood it. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up on the way out and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.